So I'm going to read this section out loud to you that you need to do today on your own. It's called A Life in Hiding. It says, a variety of species go to the extreme. They spend most of their lives hiding. Over millions of years, they have adapted to surviving in habitats that keep them undercover. So this isn't like you're out in the open and then you hide. This is that you live in hiding all the time. Many kinds of clams, for example, burrow into sandy or muddy beaches. Some species live just under the surface while others dig deeply. A large clam called the geoduck can bury itself three feet below the surface. By burrowing, a clam protects itself from being washed away by waves, drying out in the sun, or being an easy target for predators. It does not need to leave its hiding place to find food. Instead, the clam opens up one of its shells and reaches up through the sand with a body part called a siphon. The siphon takes in water, which the clam filters to get particles of food. Isn't that cool? So he never needs to come out of hiding because he can get his food and everything he needs right there in his hiding spot. If the clam senses vibrations rippling through the sand, it quickly pulls in its siphon. Vibrations may mean a predator is investigating its hiding spot. The clam also may burrow deeply to escape. Some clams can dig quickly. The razor clam can move nine inches in one minute like the size of my face. Other animals find safety in living underground too. So earthworms spend much of the day burrowing through the soil. If caught by a bird's beak, an earthworm struggles to resist by being yanked out of the ground. It grabs onto the walls of its burrow with bristles that line its sides. The worm's hind end also bulges to help clamp it in place. A mole digging through the earth can send earthworms scuttling out of the soil. Moles eat earthworms and even store them for later, biting them and then stuffing them into holes in their tunnels. A mole rarely needs to poke its head above ground. There, an owl, fox, or weasel might pounce on it. So a mole also keeps in hiding because its food, earthworms, are right where it lives, underground. So I want you to tell me the gist of that section, what was it mostly about, and tell me two details about some of the animals that live in hiding.